All right, welcome to the first lecture of this course. In this first lesson, what I'm going to be teaching you is how to play with this little beast, um, which is called a pick. Um, I'm making a joke calling it a beast, um, but it kind of can be a little bit beast-like if you've never played it before. You're going to notice that um, it's going to fall out of your hands. You're not going to feel comfortable um, hitting the different strings if you're trying to hit two strings at once. It's going to be difficult for you. So in the close-up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to hold the pick properly, or at least how I hold it. There's different ways of holding it, and different famous guitar players hold the pick differently. So for instance, Joe Satriani doesn't hold the pick the same as Santana, Steve Lukather doesn't hold it the same as Steve Vai, and so on. But this is kind of a basic way that I have um, learned to use throughout my years, and it's very, very effective. So I really hope that it's going to work for you. Um, so without further ado, let me get into the close-up now and show you how I hold the pick and how I recommend you start holding the pick. This is going to definitely make um, sure that it's not going to be wobbling around too much, that it's going to be nice and comfortable for you, and also that you're going to be able to um, cut through the strings with ease. So let's get into the close-up now and let me show you exactly how I recommend you hold the pick. All right, I'll see you there. All right, so let me show you how to hold this guy in a very effective way. So first of all, with this hand, with our picking hand, what we're going to do is we're going to create a little circle. You see that? So that's a nice little circle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pick and I'm going to slide it in here. So what I want you to notice now is that I I'm not holding it like this. You see that? Because then if I hold it like that, it would wobble around and it would fall out of my hand as soon as I'd start to play. And we don't want that. So I'm going to make that little circle and I'm going to put it very deep. And you can see now that it is um, really only the point of the pick is sticking out. So next thing is the contact with the strings. I don't want my pick to go deep within. I want it to kind of just stroke with the tip of the pick the string. And that's going to cause a um, lot less resistance and friction. So my pick is literally going to just slide across the string rather than having all this friction. Okay, very important. Okay, so tip number one is make a circle. Tip number two is put the pick deep within your hand. And tip number three then is um, to only kind of with the tip of the pick stroke the strings. Okay, now there's one more tip. Instead of holding the, the pick straight like this, we're going to tilt it sli slightly to kind of like a 45 degree angle. And what that's going to do is cut through the string even more easily. So rather than holding it like this, where I have much more friction, I'm going to tilt it slightly. And that's going to let me really slide and cut through the string with ease. Okay, so that's kind of how I want you to practice holding the pick. Again, many different guitar players hold the pick in many different ways, but I really highly recommend this method here. So get out there, practice it, and also what I want you to do is practice both downstrokes and upstrokes, which we're going to be learning in the next lesson. All right, so that's kind of the basics of holding the pick. Practice it, and I will see you in the next lesson. All right, see you there.